Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 7. We are playing Football Manager 19, and this is our save with uh, Infield Town Football Club. So, we've had, uh, we, you know, we've been getting a ton of offers, and as luck would have it, well, not luck, but... In real life, Brandon Adams just got transferred, and we're getting tons of offers for him. And, you know, he could leave on a free anytime he wants, but he has uh, decided to stick it out. Connor Fowler, we've given him a couple of games. Uh, we had promised that we'd give him some time off the bench, and now he's got people sniffing around. Uh, Reagan Upton thus far has turned down offers, but we did lose Bradley Empson to Kings Langley. Uh, he left. They they offered him. He's turned down several other offers, but he took this one. So I went out and picked up Michael Watkins on a on a loan. He's not great, but he's a, he, he gives us some cover at right back. He can also cover at center back. He's not bad. Uh, could be better, but he's not bad. So, you know, just depth, and he's free, so we aren't paying anything. Um, so that's the move that we made. I am coming back a little bit earlier than I had planned, but hey, that's, you know, that's my prerogative, right? <laughs> uh, we ended up beating Dorking Wanderers 4-1, to one. Billy Bricknell, Brandon Adams, Empson scored a goal, Lewis Taffy a goal as well in that win. We lost to Cambridge in the quarterfinals of the Isthmian, Isthmian League Cup. Matt Johnson, Grady, Malinge, and Alistair Gilby with goals. What was disappointing is we were up 3-1 to one after the 70th minute. Ryan Sh Sharman got a 79th minute goal. Luke Shear equalized in the 91st minute. And then Ryan Sharman scored in the 95th minute. So we just completely collapsed down the stretch. We were not a man down. Just, you know, how it goes. And then Margate beat us 2-0. Sid Silas and Kane Hazeman with goals for them. We did come back and beat Potter's Bar 4-1. Billy Bricknell with a brace. Michael Frieder with a goal. And Brandon Adams with another goal. Speaking of the aforementioned Mr. Adams, uh, he has 12 goals in 27. So basically a 1-2 guy, uh, just about. And he's playing a 7-1, which at this level is incredible. Uh, so, you know, he's playing pretty well for us. So really happy with that. And of course, uh, taking a look here, Billy Bricknell, uh, he's got 25 and 32. He has been a man amongst men or a man amongst boys, however you want to look at it. Still can't afford him. Speaking of who we cannot afford, Matt Johnston. Where's he at? There he is, Matt Johnson. Uh, he is our starting midfielder, defensive mid, 27 starts, 6 goals, 11 assists, playing a 7-3-6. He's making 13500 a year. And, uh, you know, he's in his prime, but he's only valued at 2000 so we're not going to really make anything off of him, trying to sell him. And we can't really afford the salary, so we're probably going to let him walk and then maybe try to bring him back. We'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see right here, should the club's reported financial crisis worsen. Speaking of financial crises, so February with the influx from the board, we were down 38.8 thousand. Now we're down to 66 thousand down and even here in the early going March 9th we've lost uh 1400 dollars and we're 58,000 in the red this season. So we just, you know, we we just have too many people on on wages that we can't afford. Um I keep forgetting. I don't need this when I am 
doing football manager. Uh, again, when I'm playing the matches in between, I usually have a YouTube video going on my second monitor. Uh, let's see. So what's been going on just to catch you guys up? So insomnia. I went to bed at 11 last night after spending all day on the road yesterday. Um, yeah, that was good. Um, uh, went to, uh, went out of state, uh, went from, uh, I live in Texas, went to Louisiana, which is home. Uh, that's where I'm from, Raging Cajun, get it? <laughs> and, uh, my grandmother turned 103 last week. So the family gets together typically the weekend after Thanksgiving when everybody's on holiday and, uh, celebrates her life and uh you know gets the family together and you know we're big on family reunions and stuff so uh did that but you know we have a lot of animals which duh you've seen that uh so we can't leave them for you know extended time we certainly don't leave them overnight so um and there's always stuff to clean up when we get home because we don't want to lock them in crates for you know eight twelve hours you know on a day so, you know, we give them the run of the house. We lock the bedrooms to where they can't get in there and get into mischief. But they have the run of the house. And, you know, we take care of business when we get home. But uh, so it was on the left yesterday about uh, I don't know, 730 in the morning. Got back about uh, nine o'clock last night. So it's a 13 and a half, 14 hour day on the road. So uh, anyway, went to bed about 11, recorded a couple episodes last night of uh rim world on a challenge that i came across a sea ice challenge and that's kicking my ass uh so that'll be going up shortly it, it's, it's three episodes because i died spoiler alert um but uh anyway um woke up at about 3 30 this morning couldn't sleep so i've been farting around and just doing some stuff and finally fired up football manager needed another episode because the last one i had recorded and rendered went up this morning or is going up this morning uh, episode six so we're going to record episode seven um oh other news so for those of you that don't live in the states uh thursday this past thursday was thanksgiving and friday is termed black friday in the retail business it's a huge shopping day potentially the biggest shopping day of the year and uh, you fight crowds and there's fights and and you know uh soccer moms beating up other soccer moms and and uh you know it's pretty pretty uh you know pretty cutthroat business to be honest but uh now we order everything online um but anyway i am going to be getting a new computer for christmas uh, my computer still works fine but like when i'm rendering i do get especially if you've watched my city skylines when i play that i usually get some lag so um i'm going to be getting a new computer uh for christmas i do have to wait it comes in uh comes in around the 30th of november so in in about a week it'll come in but i can't have it but it's a gaming computer um i estimate it'll be about 80 percent beefier than my current one and my, my current one's actually still pretty good but uh anyway uh it's a it's an hp omen uh it does have the 1060 nvidia card i would have liked the 1070 but you know that was not on sale uh so this one's uh twelve hundred dollars uh, retail and uh, it was on sale on Black Friday for $8.99 so uh, picked that up and uh, that'll be my big gift this year um, so yeah looking forward to that and I'm gonna have to get a uh, I think it's called a KVM card or something like that or uh, board basically so I've got two monitors and I've got my computer hooked up to the dual monitor set but my understanding is with this with this KVM or something to that effect, I can route both PCs into into the two monitors, and then I can switch from one PC to the other and have that compu that computer show up on my two monitors. So, like if I use my new computer to actually play the games, switch to that one, and I can play, and that's what you guys will see when I record. Well, when I finish recording, I can flip over to B, my second computer, set that up to render separately and have that working on its own. 
and then go back to A and keep playing and not be using any of my CPU resources for the rendering. So should be nice. Anyway, looking forward to it. But let's get into today's match. We are favored against Brightling C. We are on the road. I'm scouting. Uh, I have a loan offer out for another striker. Mainly just if Adams leaves or maybe Bricknell signs with somebody. That would be, that would be nice. I was reading something for Leeds, or actually I was listening to a podcast. Uh, so a lot of the tactics that I'm playing are based on Leeds because that's that's the club that I root for. And uh, they were talking about how he plays this 3-5-2 that I'm playing in addition to the 4-1-4-1. Uh, and that usually he plays the three backs when there's two strikers up top if there's one or three he usually goes with the uh four one four one so that's uh, you know i just you know that's something i just learned uh, actually today driving or yesterday driving back so we are going to uh kind of go with those guidelines all right taffy up top constantino Let's get to it. The cats uh, have decided they want to get fed early today, but I don't want to get them in that habit. Um, why? Why do I have three strikers? Is that the right tactic? I thought it was a three-five-two. Five, two, three. Oh, five, two. Is that the right tactic that I want? Huh. That's the four, four, two. I scrapped the four, one, four, one for this season. Yeah, that's the tactic I've been playing. All right, well, hey, you know, whatever. We'll, it, it, we'll go with it. All right, pick up where you left off. Also, uh, I redid the uh, some of the settings on the uh, video. Uh, I was taking a look at one of the last videos, and I was like, man, I look like uh, the stereotypical uh, drunk Irishman. Um, not that all Irishmen are drunk, certainly not wanting to offend anybody. Taffy over the top. Oh, uh, just slides it past the keeper. Ninth goal of the season. But yeah, I had a very ruddy complexion, a kind of red. I don't drink at all. Uh, well, okay, I don't want to lie. I drink once or twice a year now. I used to drink a lot when I was much, much younger. But uh, uh, maybe one or two drinks a year now. I just, you know, outgrew it and don't need to do it, you know. Um, but uh yeah i was like i was like geez man <laughs> people are gonna think i'm on the bottle like you like you know 24 7. and uh so i readjusted some of the color profile so hopefully that's oh nice save by joe wright baxter puts the rebound into the side of the net uh so anyway hopefully that looks okay and uh colors are coming across well oh there's a big run by neil Oh, Baxter wide open in the middle. Oh, he tried to chip Joe. He tried to chip right, and he made the save. Cat-like reflexes. Cat-like reflexes. Uh, encourage. 18 minutes in. and uh, Hey, look, infield town stayed the same this match. Oh, the header. Who's that? Tunbridge. Our left wing back, third goal of the season, Taffy with the assist. Very nice. That was nice. Nice little shot. Bricknell picks up his third card of the season. Nice clear cut chance there. Oh, hooked out. 
Oh, he's got to be. Where's the flag? Where was the flag? No? Oh, Dean Bone. Is that Bone? I thought it was Brown, but there's a letter missing. Dean Bone. He had to have been off sides, man. All right, we're going to concentrate. Come on, fellas. Oh, there's the, the punt. Let's see. There was uh, Adams. That's what you get for staying with infield. I wanted to look up. Uh, there was some news I wanted to make sure I put in this episode. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm a lead span. I'm playing with infield town because the fact that they're fan owned just got my, you know, got my attention and was interesting. And, you know, I thought that would be an interesting club to play with. Uh, and I, and I'm enjoying it and I, and, and it's fun to get, you know, because I'm an American and I don't get exposed to a lot of European clubs outside of the premier league that is on tv it's nice to be able to learn uh, about some other clubs and and that's one of the things i like doing this for but um nick horlson uh is a or was an infield fan uh evidently a long time fan he was not very old it did not appear uh, but he passed away this past week so this is my first video that I'm recording. Oh, Dean Bone scored again. 30th goal of the season. Sorry, uh, Nick. But uh, I wanted just to express my condolences to all of the infield uh, fans, uh, Nick's family and friends. And, uh, you know, it seems like he was a big loss for the, for the club and their fan base. Uh, so definitely rest in peace. Uh, to Nick Horlson. I hope I pronounced that right. And hopefully we can maintain. Oh my God, he is just killing us. Um, all right, you know what? We're going to, I'm going to drop into that. Brick Nell, I'm going to bring up for Taffy. You can play there. All right, we're gonna confirm that. Yeah, let's let's just get <laughs> get into a, a little bit more. And they're just hooping the ball route one. It looks like to him. Oh, there's a nice ball. Billy controls it, cuts it in. Oh, it looked like he got tipped away. Look like that got tipped away and eased past the keeper. I don't know if Billy can take credit for that, but he gets credit. 28th of the season. I want to look at that because let's watch that last touch. That's a great move right here to cut it inside, but it looked like it bounced off of Bennett to deflect past the keeper. But that's okay. We'll take that one. All right, three minutes of stoppage time. Six first half goals. That is insane. All right. Um, I'm going to go aggressive on them. Um, no, let's go passionate. All right, let's do that. All right, Constantinou. Billy. Anybody playing utter shit? Nope. Actually, the team's playing rather well, rating-wise. We have just gotten destroyed over the top from Bone. Speaking of, what does he look like? Uh, I do not know. So I want to... Can I not scout him? There we are. Let's get scouting report. Because he must have some pretty good pace. 
because they're just going route one over the top of us all day long. All right, hooked over. Turbridge, Breeder. Freeder hoofs it. Bricknell beats the defense. And his 29th of the season. Is that a hat trick, this match? I forget. I think that's a hat trick. Very good. Uh, let's see. It's not telling me here. Yeah, we're going to make those changes. We're going to mark him down. All right, let's make a sub here. All right, let's bring Asiana on. Do I have anybody else that can play back there? I do not. I can bring on... Uh, I can move Upton back. And if I do that, then I can bring House on. Okay, let's do that. Play. All right, and I want them to concentrate because we do not want to let these guys back into this. Overwhelmed by the shout. All right, let's go with... Um... <sighs> Elsom, yeah, let's go with Elsom for Matt Johnson. And let's drop back to balanced. Just where we're not, not going at 100% all the time. Four minutes of stoppage time. Baxter with the steal. Morgan... Oh, man. Oh, Neil shoots it wide. Who was this? Was that Melinge? Yeah. Uh, and there we go. Five to two. Not the prettiest match. They outshot us. Possession was even. Seven chances for them. We got lucky in this one, let me tell you. I'm actually going to give them a little... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a little bomb on you there, and yeah, you you could react negatively. That's okay. A ding dong battle, interesting. All right, so we'll come back uh, for our match with Worthing here in a minute. Just want to finish the day, maybe. Hello. Hello. Now, one of the things, too, it doesn't matter what kind of computer you have. If you load a ton of leagues, uh, then you end up a potential issue with Brick and Nell. Let's go talk to Billy. Um, yeah, I've got no concerns and you shouldn't either. Yeah, what you want me to do? Kiss your ass, Billy? Not happening. Yeah, maybe if we fall out, he'll transfer and then we can get his his pay off the books and we can start making money. That might be the route to go here. Yeah, very unprofessional on your part. I am your head coach. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, whatever. Eh, eh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you know, players that see in, 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 you know, you just don't talk to your head coaches or, or officials that way. I just, yeah, that's how I was raised. All right. We'll be back for Worthing in a minute. And granted, I am the older generation, whatever. All right. See you guys in a second. Well, the rating continues uh, since the last match. Reagan Upton has gone to Kettering. Reagan has been a stalwart for our side with 30 starts in the league this year. 
and playing a 692, so very solid center back for us. And then the same day, Connor Fowler, who would have probably been our relief for Upton, goes to Tim's Mead. I think I pronounced that right, Tim's Mead, because it's the River Thames, not Thames, right? It's the River Thames. Uh, so Tim's Mead, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Again, Pretty decent, not great, but probably would have been our, well, he was definitely a left back uh, option, but he takes off. So we ended up having to bring in, uh, well, let's see, we brought in Watkins. And if we take a look, I have got an offer out to... Tom Jamison from Grimsby to potentially come in as a center back for us. He'd be free. We wouldn't have to. Actually, he was going to cost some money. I think it was. We've got a bid on him. Um, contract offer. Oh, uh, well. I want to say it's two fifty a month if he plays, and they wanted two. It was and then two fifty if he doesn't play. I negotiated that down to where we don't pay if he plays, or if he doesn't play. That's what it was. So if he plays, he gets paid. If he doesn't play, because basically we're going to end up starting him because we have the hole now. Um, Sayud. Uh, got a, approached and he rejected it. So, geez, I mean, you know, we're getting rated really hard. The club also made a $50,000 investment between games. So we're actually uh, almost in the black. <laughs> uh, eh. But yeah, it, it's not, uh, we're, we're losing our ass financially. So that's, they put 75, so we're up to uh, 125,000 that the, the board have put in this year. So thank you very much, guys. <laughs> and they haven't sacked me yet. Of course, you know, I didn't, in, I, I inherited all this. None of this was my fault. Uh, we are sitting third with 67 points, three behind Kingstonian. Bognor Regis has clinched a playoff spot already. So let's see. So today we are slight favorites. Breezy and 60. They're playing a 4-4-2. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to this tactic today. Oh, uh, also, so the end of last match, we had the, the call out in the locker room, Bricknell challenged me afterwards and yeah he uh he came in and 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 you know art got into an argument with me uh afterwards and um who was it uh grady melinge backed me up supported me so that was nice thank you grady <laughs> but yeah so bricknell had a meltdown on me and his uh you can see where's he at well, he's up to slightly poor. He was abysmal, but you can see the and and Melinge getting involved. Uh, he got angry too. But anyway, so most of the team supported me and understood where I was coming from. Unfortunately, Billy was a little unprofessional and and didn't like getting yelled at. Uh, so you know, fair play to him. But you know, as I told him, you know, if I think you need a, a tongue lashing, I'm gonna give it to you. And I don't think you guys played very well. I mean, we won the match, yes, but, you know, not necessarily him, but, you know, I, I view, you know, football is a team sport, you know. So if, uh, if, if one person screws up, then, you know, it, it's, it's an issue the team have to deal with. Taffy drops it off to Bricknell. 
little bit of lag going on. Oh, a shot from range for Johnson. I'm taking a look at my, uh, got about a minute and a half left in that rendering. Sorry, that popped up right there because I was noticing some lag. So that's what that's from. And that's about the point that my rendering program crashed last time. All right, Taffy Johnson into Adams. House Taffy shot. Oh, knocked away by Yonkerman. Good save by their keeper. Oh, the Towners fans. Johnson gets ahead on the ball, but sends it high. And there we are switching to the other team again. Oh, Adams got up there and beat the keeper, but sends it over. Come on, boys. Bricknell's disinterested, so I'm going to uh, show some passion. Taffy gets frustrated by that. He needs to go kick Billy in the butt here, man. <laughs> All right, headed away. Turbridge makes the run. Corrals the ball, gets it back under control. Johnson through ball. Cheney and blocked but he got the rebound number three on the season get in there nice all right one nothing thankfully all right let's let's tell him to concentrate now oh hello come on oh man that was not a foul oh i thought that was a card for sure like he took out my guy's knee breeder tries to huff it over the top Cheney off his goal <coughs> oh taffy with a nice goal what a touch Bricknell with the assist thank you Billy showing his professionalism still getting it done that was a nice finish by taffy Malinge heads it out. Ball's in the danger zone. Oh, in the mixer. Come on, boys. How to play. All right. We should get to the locker room here. <coughs> With the whistle there a little bit. Get in the dry throat. All right, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I am going to ask Grady to play it calm. Two nothing. God, I need a more comfortable chair. <laughs> All right, uh, come on, encourage. Whoa, they got frustrated because I encouraged them. Come on, boys, you can do it. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's make a sub here. Everybody's playing rather well. Breeder, Turner, Aaron Hughes. What kind of finishing does Body have? He's a youngster for us. David Elsom, he just made his debut. Oh, we got our youth intake. We had a couple of good looking players. A young attacking midfielder. Not really what I need. Raymond Stout. Left and center back. Mm. 
Matt Johnson. I think we're going to put Elsom on for him. All right. Oh, easy, easy play for Joe Wright. So I am curious. Oh, over the top. Adams with a brilliant. Well, it started to be a brilliant first touch, but it goes right to Yonkerman. And that was not so great. Brandon. Come on, boys. A Belinge knocks it out. That was not good. Yeah, throw your hands up there, Frieder, because you just stood there and watched all the action take place around you. Yes. And now I want to tell them to concentrate. And they're going to be overwhelmed. Oh, my God. He wants us to think and do football stuff. <laughs> Come on, boys. Uh, Adams, I'm going to bring you off for body, and I think that's going to be his debut, pretty sure. And Melinge, let's bring Aaron Hughes on for you. Just hold on. That should get us to the... Oh, Cheney goes down face first. Oh, Keeley. Oh, Joe Wright, what a save. Come on, where's the whistle there, Mr. Referee? We were supposed to have four minutes. Hello, whistle. Blow that damn thing. All right, Bricknell, Taffy. There we go. Two to one. Not great. Well, you know, 19 to 11, I, I guess it was a, you know, it, it just didn't seem that good, right? Six, eight long shots, that's rare. Um, let's see if I can kiss their butt just a little bit. Eh. Yeah, they want to be coddled, evidently. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> All right, so Bognor has clinched a playoff spot already. Uh, who was relegated? Somebody was relegated from the Premier, I forget. Uh, let's see. And then this is a question. If, if you are an infield fan or if you're a fan of a lower league team, uh, you know, this is a, tr this is a question. So... Do you have do you have other clubs that you follow? Is is infield, for example, are they your primary club that you root for, but then you have teams at other levels like in the Premier or the Championship that you root for? Um, you know, because I really get the impression that at the Premier and the Championship level, you just really don't give a damn about anybody else. Um, and And it's a real, you know, Seems like a real cutthroat, you know, thing. But I guess with promotion and relegation, it's it's the old, you know, and and here's an example. So like in the in in the NFL, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. When I grew up and I was living in different parts of the country, the Cowboys were the team that I was able to watch week in and week out, no matter where I lived. And when my dad left the military we moved to south louisiana and that was the time when i was going into high school that i was able to start watching new orleans saints games for the very first time and of course the saints out of new orleans are the home state club team and so i developed a very deep felt connection with them but it never even to this day, it's never really taken the place of, of me rooting for the Cowboys. Now, here's the here's what's happened over the years because, you know, that was going into high school. So now, 
30 some odd years later of being, you know, of, of liking the Saints, rooting for the Saints, and then, you know, about five more years of being a diehard Cowboy fan, uh, even through the 1-15 in season. So those two teams play each other this coming week. And they don't play every year. Uh, every two or three seasons they play each other. So it's not something I have to deal with on a regular basis. But typically, you know, it it, it has come down and it started about three or four years ago uh, where, I, I mean, I pulled for the Cowboys 100% of the time playing against the Saints. And then about three or four years ago, the Cowboys were, you know, out of the playoffs. They were shit that year. And the Saints were making a run. And basically what it came down to is the Saints would benefit much more from a win than the Cowboys would. The win would not help the Cowboys. In fact, it would hurt them because they would not get as good a draft pick with the extra win. So that was the first year in memory that I actually pulled for the Saints. And that's kind of what it's come down to in that regard for me, which club benefits more from the win. But anyway, using that as an example, ser serious question, you know, how do, how, do, how do you guys as fans of, of English football um, deal with that? I mean, do you, you know, are there other clubs at higher levels that you – you know, that you root for or interact with, even if it's not to the level that you do of your primary club infield or whoever it may be. All right, so taking uh, six points there, that was very good. <laughs> Didn't quite make it up. Uh, so we are sitting on 70 points, one point shy, and we are 10 points clear of seventh position. How many matches do we play? I forget. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, 42 games. Wow. All right, so we have seven matches left, and then we have playoffs. So I think... With that in mind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, with Rangers, that was the short-term save that I did for the beta release. When you get to the end of the regular season, you actually split and then have a, a second stage of the season. And that was weird. I was like, whoa, what happened here? So let's come back for let's come back for the c Ooh, my birthday may 4th so we'll play folkstone that day so i think let's come back for lose and folkstone to end the season and we will see where we're at and what we need to do the dripping pan that's incredible <laughs> i like that all right guys leave a like subscribe if you're new Thanks for stopping by. Uh, leave any comments, and I look forward to some answers to the uh, to the team rooting question. And we will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.